Hi everyone! In this video, I will discuss how to use the Practica Nova. This particular camera was produced by the KW factory, or in German, Kammerwerkstätten Dresden Niederseelitz, in East Germany in 1964. The most important controls on the camera are, of course, the winding lever, this thing, the shutter speed dial, this thing, and the rewind lever for the film. Now, in the camera, the film is located inside here after you place it inside, and it gets rolled up over here, inside there. So, onto the, uh, onto the shutter speed dial. As you can see, there are two rings here the upper ring which controls the modes of operation, and the lower ring, which controls the actual speed to which the camera is set. Right now, it is set to 1 30th of a second exposure time. You can set the speed by lifting the ring. As you can see there, it is now lifted about 2 millimeters or 3 millimeters into, into the sky. And you can and you can move it left or right doesn't matter so now it's set to B or bulb and you can set it to 1 1 1 25th of a second or 1 500th of a second whatever I will set it to 250th of a second so there it is set however these red tri or these two triangles here uh, mean one thing um, when you set the operating mode for the shutter speed, you have to turn this to the appropriate position, the upper ring. So I have now turned it to the red triangle, which indicates low speed. And of course, for low speed, you have the red numbers, or orange numbers, on the ring. So that is one half second exposure time, or one fourth second, or one eighth of a second. So it is now set to slow speed, one half second exposure time, and the top ring coincides with the red triangle. This is the only functionality this uh, this thing has. You can move it to the side like this, but it does not it does not do anything as that is mostly controlled by this lever. So, if you see, I will now fire the camera, and this strut, or this ring, snaps back into its original position. So I will now wind it again, and you see, it is controlled by the movement of the winding lever. It stays in position, and again, snaps back. Now, on the winding lever itself, there is another ring. This is just a visual reminder of what kind of film you have set in your camera. So, let's say, of course, you have maybe some Ilford film, black and white stuff, so you switch it over to this triangle, black and white, and now you remember what's in the film. A very similar thing happens on the left. Here you have the rewind lever which is very simple to use, of course. You just flip this up, rotate it, to, ro rotate it off to the side, and then when it's done, close it back out, lift it, yada yada, you know the drill. However, what, what usually confuses people is what this inner ring means, and if it has any mechanical functionality within the camera. No, it does not. It works, it works on the very same principle as this over here, it is just a visual reminder. So let's say um, it is marked in DIN, so do, so German Standard, and ASA. So let's say you have some uh, Kodak ASA 400, 400 film with 36 exposures. Now it is set to 36 exposures on the, on the outer on the outer ring, as you can see. And 36 coincides with the number 400 in a on the ASA scale. That's it. You can move this ring via 
hooking your nail into this thing with this little pin, which comes out of there for like or at like maybe three, two or three millimeters, and you hook your uh, hook your uh, fingernail into that, and you rotate it around. That's it. Very simple. So now it's set to 36 uh, 36 exposures DIN27. As you can see, there's also a marker for 20 exposures and another marker for 12 exposures, as this is a very old camera, 1964 production, when those low exposure films were still in fashion. Another thing on this camera that is that, that might be interesting is the markers on the exposure button, or the firing button of the camera. So, I will now cock the camera again. Yep. And you see the firing button. It is now ready to fire. So you can depress it, and it will fire the camera, if you depress it fully. However, when you move it off to the side, so that the red button, or the red marker on the button coincides with the red marker on the outer ring, as I will do now. Yes. The camera is now in the safe mode. So you can no longer depress the button to fire it. This is a very nice feature, as it or which has been eliminated on later models of uh, Practica cameras, such as this MTL50. Now, an interesting thing is if you if I move this back over here to the right and I take out the wire or the, the remote firing wire which comes with these cameras and I insert it into the button as such rotate it to the right righty tighty lefty loosey as you have learned it is now in the button however if I turn it to the left or turn it to the right still it automatically moves the button into position where it is now locked in safe mode. So now the only way you can fire the camera is via the use of the exposure button. 